Hello and welcome to another video from sickmaths.co.uk, a website where you can find almost all of GCSE maths and A-level maths on video for free, so do check it out. I say almost because we've almost done all the videos, and you can also find some amazing revision guides which make the whole of this really simple. Um, so anyway and short, just check it out. Uh, this video is about frequency polygons, otherwise known as line graphs and bar graphs. So here's your line graph basically, or a frequency polygon, it's your bar graph over here. And um, we're going to create these two from this table here. We've got your heights uh, for different categories and um, your frequency, so how many people in each of these categories. It could be people or, or cats or anything really. Frequency just means how many of something belongs to a group or a class or a category. Now, so this category 0 to 2 um, is for height. We don't know what unit is, meters or something. So 8 people are in this category, 14 people in this category, 10 people in this category, and 3 people in this category. Now, if you're not sure about what this all means, go to the Inequalities video, I-N-E-Q-U-A-L-I-T-E-S, okay? And uh, you'll find out about more about inequalities there. But very briefly, that's just saying from 0 to 2, not including 0, but including 2. And this one is not including 2, but including 4. So you're basically not overlapping uh, groups. Yeah, This one can have 2, but this one can't have 2. Um, the number 2, that is. Anyway, so uh, how do we plot a frequency polygon? Well, this is what you do. you got your category here from 0 to 2. So uh, the middle of 0 to 2 is 3. So we so the middle of 0 to 2 is 1, I should say. Um, so going 1 across, and then the frequency for that category is 8. So you go 1 across and 8 up. The middle of this category, 2 to 4, is 3. So we go 3 across and 14 up. 3 across and 14 up. That's not 15 there. It's almost 15 is 14 there. And uh, this category, 46, the middle of that is 5. We go 5 across and 10 up. So 5 across and 10 up. So notice we keep going to the middle of the groups and then going up by the frequency. And that's it. You make dots for each of them and then join them up and your job is done. You've done a frequency polygon, which is otherwise known as a line graph. Notice frequency should always be going up and the other stuff, whatever it happens to be, like the height or the weight of the people, or whatever, um, it goes across. Okay, the same for bar graphs, frequency always goes up and the categories across. Okay, and it's very similar to a line graph. Instead of doing a dot, you do a whole bar. That's what a bar graph is about. So, um, say, so let's look at the first category, 0 to 2. We actually make it uh, the, all the bar in a bar graph, all the bars are the same width. So first category zero to two is like that. All the categories should be the same width as well, shouldn't they? This is two wide. This is two wide. This is two wide. And this is two wide. Um, so yep, this bar has height eight because its frequency is eight. Yeah, because that's measuring frequency going up, and that's it really. Each bar is the height. Its height is the frequency. Nothing really to say there. Um, and I don't think there's anything else to say. Frequency goes up, categories go across. Thank you for listening.